The vaccination rate and negotiation process, as well as procurement of COVID-19 vaccine are among the issues raised by several MPs during the debate in the special sitting of the Dewan Rakiat today. Entering its third day, the atmosphere of the conference today appeared to be calmer compared with the previous day, with 23 MPs, comprising 10 from the government, 11 from the opposition and two independents, taking part in the debate session. Earlier, the special session began with a briefing by the coordinating minister of the National COVID-19 Immunization Programme, Kerry Jamaluddin, who said that the country's immunization programme thus far saw the percentage of Malaysians receiving at least one dose of vaccine surpassed some developed countries such as Japan, Australia, South Korea and New Zealand. A majority of MPs also praised the government's move to increase the vaccination rate to more than 500,000 doses a day, but questioned the delay in obtaining vaccines compared with other countries. Among them, Yo B. Yin, who pointed out that the death toll due to COVID-19 also increased despite the high vaccination rate. Meanwhile, Datuk Seri Saifuddin Nazushin Ismail wants the country to focus on long-term COVID-19 vaccination efforts, apart from ensuring that Malaysia is given priority in obtaining vaccines from manufacturers if there is a threat of new variants. Dr. Masli Malik raised the issue of vaccination in the education ecosystem, including to educators, school staff and students, besides proposing that vaccines be given in schools without requiring them to attend the vaccination center. Datuk Seri Bung Mokhtar Raiden and Tan Shri No Omar asked for the facilities at PPVs to be improved, the proposal to inject first, register later, which needs to be expanded in rural areas or to those without internet access was also suggested by Datuk Muhammad Aziz Jaman and Datuk Wilson Ugak Anak Kambong. Kerry, during the winding up session, among other things, said that negotiations with vaccine manufacturing companies, especially Pfizer, had begun for Malaysia to finalize the procurement of vaccines for 2022, especially booster injections and pediatric vaccines. Apart from that, he said that the government did not intend to make vaccination compulsory because public health programs in Malaysia were voluntary. the last minutes of the winding up session. However, it was a bit noisy when several opposition MPs rose to ask for the time to be extended, including Hannah Yeo, Isnaresa Manira Majilis and Datuk Nyi Ku Ham. They expressed dissatisfaction with the limited time because vaccine-related matters are important and the minister is ready to explain and answer all questions raised by MPs. However, Dewan Rakiat speaker Datuk Azar Aziz and Harun, Ask them to sit down and allow Carey to continue.